This is my Dell Precision 7500 series that I use everywhere. I take it on planes and I eat with it and as a result I get crumbs and junk underneath the keys and sometimes they get stuck on top of something I dropped in between the little cracks between the keys and the keyboard lattice. You can take this thing off in like three minutes and clean under it and there's tons of videos on how to work on this but none how to just clean up under the keys. So you start out with these little access points right here and right here. Those are the pry points. You pry off the top, the sides, and the bottom. You can pull it off, clean under it with just a simple compressed air gun and then putting it back is the part I wanted to show you also. So we'll do that real quick. So I clean under this with just a simple air duster and because the bezel's out of the way you can get sideways. And go from each direction under each of the sets of keys and blow every piece of junk and hair and crumb out of there that you want. Then when you go to put this back, there are tabs at the very bottom that need to go in first in order to avoid the least amount of pressure. So you start it from the bottom of the screen. But then once you snap in all the edges that you pried away, there are these lock points in between the keys. And there are about 11 of them spaced underneath the number panel and above the Z line. Then there's three smaller ones wrapped around the mouse right here. And don't forget the one that's down here by the page down key. So when you put the thing back, you need to use the same spudger plastic tool that you use to pry it off in order to make sure that every one of those engage or they're gonna be in the way of your key all the time when you're typing. So you can make sure all the edges snap in nice and tight. But then I take the same blunt end of the spudger tool and I go between the keys and when I find those lock points, I press them down. Because it's hard to figure out where they are once the keyboard's back installed and if you miss any one of them, there's a high spot in your lattice. Remember there's points right around the mini mouse. and the one down here by the page down key. You could hear it snap in. So when you're done, the keyboard bezel ought to sit perfectly flat with no bumpy spots because you locked all those points in. And it's totally clean underneath and there's no junk under any of your keys. Hope that helps, bye.